Oh, wow. I can't believe they put that on there. How do you identify your sexual orientation? It's the 26th and final question on Beaverton's annual parent survey. I'm not comfortable with those questions. It shouldn't matter. You shouldn't ask that question. The options provided are heterosexual, gay or lesbian, bisexual, or questioning. I think those are the only options. It does not uh, necessarily make sense as to what they would use the information for. Kusha Janati filled out the survey but left that part blank. It explicitly says optional. That's an optional question, so I think if you don't feel comfortable answering, then you don't answer. But I think it's healthy for the school district to ask the question so people feel free to have the conversation about the topic. We took parent concerns to the district. What would you say to the parents out there who say, well, this is way out of line? This is an optional question. You know, this is an anonymous survey. We're not taking any information on individuals. Um, what we're trying to get at is here is making sure that we create the most welcome and inclusive learning environment for our students and families. This is the first year the question has been included in the annual survey. It's also the first year parents have been asked how they identify their gender. It just helps us to understand what's the demographic mix in our schools. There is much larger, bigger issues that needs to be dealt with when it comes to our school system. And I think this is not something that's, you know, should be top priority at this point.